In today's video, we're going to be playing the 2014 World Cup in FIFA 22. This mod has got all the accurate groups, all the accurate squads, all the accurate kits, everything. It's literally like an official 2014 World Cup mod in FIFA 22. <laughs> 2014 World Cup was honestly a lot of fun. It was in Brazil, a footballing country. The fans were crazy. It was tremendous. And Brazil were pretty good that year. Until, of course, they faced Germany in the semi-finals. But they had a good team. An 85-rated Neymar. Remember Oscar? He was actually decent. Fred was a bit of a fraud. They had the Hulk with them. Luis Gustavo Paulinho was a part of that squad. Who remembers David Luiz? He got destroyed against Germany, by the way. Thiago Silva, Dani Alves, Mar Marcelo and Julio Cesar was the keeper. To be honest, guys, a lot of their players are still the same. No Marquinhos. Wow, he's not even there on the bench. Wasn't part of the team back then. Wow. Ramirez is there. Argentina that year managed to reach the finals, but then we all know the heartbreak. <laughs> Gonzalo Higuain, man. That miss. That miss. Anyways, Leo Messi was, of course, unbelievable. They have the guy who created the mod, Shadow Boy. Go check him out. Links in the description. I can't believe he's used the sad face of Messi as his pick. This was, I think, the face he had when he was being given, like, the best player award or something. And he was super depressed after the final. That's jokes, man. That's jokes. <laughs> This team is bad. How did Messi carry this team? Only Mascherano, Di Maria, and Aguero are like proper ballers. The rest is just so bad. Bench is well tragic. I don't know how they managed to scrape through. I want to see England. How were 2014 England looking like? Daniel Sturridge leading the line for them. They had Sterling. What is that? Hair. Wayne Rooney in the team. Danny Welbeck. It was a bit of a hit and miss England team, I guess. Gerard and Henderson in there. Phil Jack, Yelka, and Cahill. They were pretty average, guys. Lampard was part of the squad jack wilshire and yeah france were always good this was i think during a time benzema in this squad i'm surprised i thought <laughs> benzema and valbuena together yikes no not cool you can't be doing that you can't be doing that griezmann's in there as well pogba just an 81 rated player before his like insane arrival at juventus and everything uh, france looking okay nothing too special to be honest germany world cup winners a 90 rated Miroslav Klose. I think he's got the most goals in World Cup history. Yes, you're right. How insane is that stat? Ozil was tremendous. Muller as well. That midfield. And of course, the man who Messi is never going to forget, I guess. Mario Götze, the man who scored the goal in the final. What a team this was, man. And what a bench as well. The, the Germans were just a machine. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's true. and Yeah, that's true. That's true. Pretty sure 2014 was the year Colombia was actually balling out. So let's see their side. I know they were led by, of course, James Rodriguez. Only 83. Surely in the World Cup, he was better than that. Maybe 86, 87. 2014, Croatia. Modric was still their best player. Costa Rica was surprisingly decent that year, remember? Italy, Mario Balotelli led them, of course. Um, they did make the World Cup that year. Italy did make the World Cup that year. 2018 and 2022, they're going to miss it. Bummer. Portugal now. That's an interesting squad. They also had a pretty average team, but I'm pretty sure they got knocked out in the group, but they still had a 92 rated Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, now time to get through the World Cup. We're going to see with which team we can get to the World Cup final. Germany's probably our best chance, but I'm thinking there's no Spain. Is Spain missing? I can't. Oh, there's Spain. I thought what's happening there. I think we'll use Spain for our first run and just see what happens. They won the World Cup in 2010. I love the way the graphics and all are done. The the World Cup mod is class. Oh, we've got like cutscenes and everything. This was the cutscene, I think, for the uh, the Brazil World Cup. So fair play for having this in the game. What's the Spain squad looking like? Oh, Diego Costa. Who remembers him in his prime? Xavi was there. No, Iniesta. Oh, Iniesta's left wing. David Silva. Oh, this I love this Spanish team, man. Um, uh, PK and Ramos playing together. Aspiliqueta. David Villa. Santi Cazorla. Yo, the Spanish team. Fernando Torres as well. De Gea was a backup player because Casillas was number one. Let's try a run with Spain and see where we get. Yo, Spain had a very difficult group. Netherlands, Chile, and Australia. That's tough. All right, let's see what happens in the first game of the 2014 World Cup against Netherlands. Well, a 2-1 win for Spain. Let's go. Chile is probably a bit of an interesting team to play, but we beat Netherlands. I think we can get the job 
done. I remember Spain, Netherlands in real life ended a big win for Netherlands with Van Persie scoring that header. Only a draw for us against Chile. All right, let's see what we can do against Australia. I think we should be through to the round of 16. Well, this confirms it. What a win. There you go, guys. We topped our group. Chile finishing second. Netherlands out. Wow. Round of 16. Ah, this could be bad. This could be bad. It's Argentina. All right, let's see what happens here. Argentina versus Spain. 2014 World Cup round of 16. That's not the draw we wanted after topping the group. On penalties, we've knocked them out. Messi is out of the World Cup. Not again. In 26, 2014, in the round of 16 itself. Oh my god, all the way to extra time. Yo, could we actually complete a run with Spain itself? Next up, it's Italy for us. How is this gonna go down? Let's see. On penalties again we get through. What is this luck? Yo, that's back to back through on pens. Who are we gonna get in the semi-finals now? As long as we avoid Germany, I think we're good. I think we're good as long as we avoid Germany. It's Kana. How on earth have they made it to the semis? Yo, I want to see the teams left in it. Of course, Germany are left. Spain, Ghana. Germany, Uruguay. That's very interesting. Let's see what happens here against Ghana. Semi-finals. We absolutely destroy them. Well, we've made the World Cup final in our first attempt against Germany. I didn't, I didn't expect this. Absolutely didn't. But here we go. There you go. It's Germany, Spain in the World Cup final. I don't think anyone is surprised that this is the game. I think in real life, Spain got grouped. You're right. I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But as you guys can see, Diego Costa top scorer at the World Cup so far. I'm kind of keen to use him. Surely having a good World Cup. Let's see. Finals of the World Cup. What happened in the third place game? I don't think that's there in this game. But here we go. Spain, Germany in the World Cup final. Yo, I'm thinking we make a change to our team. I, I don't want to use... Why does Sergio Busquets have 89 pace? Surely these stats are wrong. <laughs> Sergio Busquets with 89 pace? What on earth is that? Okay, he's absolutely cracked. Well, I don't want to use him because I want to use some different players. So I'm thinking we use Alonso Casorla. Oh, oh no, I know. I've got the perfect idea. But in the Eastern midfield, let's use David Villa on the left. I got it. I got to use David Villa, man. Absolutely. We'll probably bring on Fernando Torres at some point. Do we have a better right back than Aspili Quetta? I'd certainly love that. I don't think so. We'll keep Fabregas on the bench. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the team. Why not? All right, here we go. World Cup final kicked off. Look at the graphics as well. That's what I'm talking. This mod is so, so nice. It's got the official the green and yellowish themed graphics of the World Cup back in the day. You'll love to see it, man. You'll love to see it. Very nice. Diego Costa's going to be fun to use. Here is Alonso. Going to try and slide that one. Instead gets taken out there by Schweinsteiger. Okay, now. Okay, I've been done there. It's Podoski. Now it's Draxler. This is not good. Lucas Podoski going for goal. What a save, Casillas. Let's go. Diego Costa. Now looking for Alonso. Sees David Silva. This is his chance. Lovely bit of nope. play. Neuer is cracked. I just can't get the ball past him. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what, guys? I like David Silva, but I just feel like he's not it for this game. We're going to bring on Fernando Torres. I'll kind of put him towards goal and see how that works. We'll switch Iniesta and Xavi as well. Move Xavi Alonso to like a CDM position. And yeah, let, let's just see how, how this tactic works. I kind of want Iniesta more progressive. Let's see how this works. You know, switching things around a bit. Attacking now with David Villa. Opening up that space. Oh, look at the space for Jordi Alba. He's attacking this really well. Chipping this one for Diego Costa. Falls for David Villa. Has to score. Neuer is the GOAT. Yes, you're right. Here we go with Xavi. Looking for Diego Costa. Surely this is the chance. Diego Costa. Difficult angle though. Manuel Neuer. The way he saves it as well. It's crazy. Literally haven't seen Fernando Torres do anything apart from that misplaced pass just there. Oh, Mario God says turn me there. You can't write this. You really can't write this. Of all players, it's Mario Gonza to score. As a Messi fan, this is giving me PTSD. Emotional, damn it. Oh my god. Germany will win the World Cup even on the game, man. Wow. That's remarkable. And of course, it's Mario Goetze. Unreal. Fair enough, I guess. Well, um, I lost the World Cup final, guys. Mission failed. We'll, next time. well, Germany's going to end up lifting the trophy. Fair play to them. But the video's not over just yet. We're going to have a bit more fun on this mod. I'm thinking let's just sim through 
with a different few teams and see what happens. Colombia team was class and let's just do a run with Colombia and see what happens. We're just going to sim through the games. Colombia's group is a pretty interesting one. They're pretty sure topped it in real life and look at their squad. James was the man. Like, I feel like the squad is so underrated, man. Like, oh, remember Suniga? He injured Neymar badly. That was a bit sad. I think we could put Carlos. Oh, Jackson Martinez up top instead. I think that's a lot better. Any other decent players in here? Probably not. I don't think in simulation this team's going to go far. Uh -huh. NL to Ivory Coast and look who scored for them. DDA Drogba. Well, at least a win against Japan. So that's good. This is the big one. Greece has some decent players, you could say. Let's see what happens here. And it's an L. I think that means we've just been knocked out in the group stages itself. Ah, oh, here we go again. Wow. Okay. Um, that was it nice with Colombia. I thought we would be doing better than that. I'm thinking let's do one more sim, this time with the finalist of the 2014 World Cup in real life. You guessed it. This time we're doing it with Argentina. And let's see what happens. Can we get Messi that World Cup? That was the Argentina team led by Messi, man. They should have won the World Cup that year. They managed to hold on to, of course, the 116th minute, but then Germany broke their hearts. I would have really found it interesting if that game would have gone to penalties. But anyways, let's see how far we can take this Argentina team in the World Cup. Um, first game against Bosnia. What's going to happen here? A 3-1 Argentina win. No goals for Messi, though. Next up is Iran. Let's see what happens in this one. Is Messi going to get himself a goal? No, he doesn't. It's been all Aguero. I feel like Argentina and Nigeria always are in the same group as Aguero bags a hat trick. How many goals is that already for him? What, six, seven? That's six goals for Aguero in the World Cup already. Next up, though, for Argentina, round of 16. It's Netherlands. Uh -huh. And they're knocked out. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. Um. Okay, Netherlands knock out Argentina. Wow. That's a surprise, you know. That's a surprise. In real life, Argentina knocked them out. But I guess that's how we're going to be ending this video. I couldn't win the World Cup final, but I had a bit of fun. This mod's great. It's super accurate. Love the work Shadow Boy's done. Ton of credit to him. But yeah, that's it for the video. Drop like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.